so in this example, what I've done is I've gone ahead and given you the truth table, and you can also see here the um, I filled in the K map for you. So let's go through and kind of look at what some of the groups will be on this one. So if I look right here, I'm looking for the largest possible group. I really like to have a group of 16, which I don't have. A group of eight. I don't see any eight ones together. Do I have any fours together? No, not really. I need to be looking at pairs. All right, so let's look at which pairs I might make. I have one here. I have one here. I have one here. Now I have this one and this one and this one and that that are not looped, but they could be. Okay, so there's no reason to overlap them if they're um, already included, but since they're not, I also have that one there, I missed it. Okay, so I need to make some more loops as well. Here and here and here. Okay. So now let's start to try to write some of these terms. Okay, this one, what would it be? Well, let's see, it would be not W, not X, which change there, W change, so I have not X. And then they're both in the YZ, Y not Z, like that. This one would be W, Y, not Z. This one would be X, Y, Z. What would this one be? This one would be Let's see what changes there. It's the X that changes, so it's not W, Y, not Y, Z. And we got to do one here. And really, I don't need that loop because both of those are enclosed in another one, so that was a bad loop. All right, so let's get rid of it when I look at it. See, I don't really need that term because I managed to get them both enclosed in other loops. Right. Change back to my pen here. Okay, then I have this one, which would be X, not Y, not Z. Okay. So now how would I write this final expression? So it would be F equals X, not Y, not Z, or not W, not Y, not Z, or regular Z, or not x, y, not z, or x, y, z, or w, y, not z. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So how many ones did we originally have? We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I get, I had nine terms and they all had four letters and now I'm down to three ter uh, five terms, all of which only actually have three letters. So that's a pretty big improvement for us. Okay, so now let's try this one and see um, how we do. So I'm going to do up here, not R, not S, not T, not U. I'm going to do not T, U, only one thing changed. Now I've got to change the T because I, did, I changed the U last time. And now I've got to change which one. I need to change the U. And now I look from here to here. Did only one thing change? It did. So I'm going to do not R, S, R, S and R not S. Okay, and I'm going to put the ones in. So not R, not S, not T, U. Put 
put a one here. I'm going to mark that one off. Not R, not S, T, U. Put a one here. Not R, S, not T, U. Put one here. I'm going to mark that one off. Not R, S, T, not U. Here. Mark that one off. Not R, S, T, U. Here. Then R, not S, not T, and a U. Here. R, S, not T, not U, here. And then R, S, T, not U, here. And then R, S, T, U, here. Okay. So let's go back and see the biggest group I can make. It looks like there's some fours here. So I can make one four here. I'm going to change colors just so you can see it. I have another four here. And I don't have to loop overlap those ones, but since they give me groups of four, which give me the best simplifications, I will. Then I have here. Okay, to get this one enclosed, I've got to do this. And to get this one enclosed, I need to do that. Okay. So now let's go in and write some expressions for these. So this one is going to have the expression, the u didn't change, the not r didn't change, so it is not r u. This one is going to have the t, and what does it have from over here, the s. This loop is going to be three terms, so it's going to be r s not U. And then this term is going to be not S, not T, U. So our expression here is going to work out to be not S, not T, U, or R, S, not U, or S, T, or, let's see, what's the one up there? It's going to be, I'm going to have to scroll up to see it. not R, U. And that's our final output. Okay. So that gives us another example of a four variable K map. So let's imagine that I have not A, not B, not C, not D, not C, D, C, not D. Oops, see, I changed two things there. You can't do that. Pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. This one's going to be D, C, and this one's going to be C, not D. Okay, so this is just an imaginary situation. We're not really talking about this thing anymore, so don't pay any attention to that truth table. Okay, I just wanted to show you some examples here. Okay, so let's imagine that I have this deal. One, 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 one. Okay. 
Okay, and let's draw some groups like you might want to here. Okay, so do I have any isolated ones? I do. Okay, then I have a four here, and then as I look here, I can include these two in a loop like this. But if rather than putting them in a pair, I did them like this. I mean, sorry, trying to change colors there. This one, this one, that, and that. By doing a little overlap, I have four, which is really a simpler term. So this would give us an expression based on this that looks something like f is equal to, I have to write the full address of this one, not a, b, c, d, or, now let's do it for this one, okay, this would be not c, not d, or from here to here, c change, so that's not d, from here to here, a change, so that's not b, so this would be not b, not D. Okay, so this in fact would be the equation for that. I just kind of wanted to show you some examples and one where you did have an isolated one and how you write the full term for that.